Yes. It may be hard on him to go so soon after his previous mission. But there are rumors of a demon in the area. I'd like him to investigate. There's also this faint feeling I have in my chest. I'd like him to find out what it is. I'm counting on you. I hope Mr. Kazumi can get back on his feet after what happened. I hope all those families can. I'm still not any closer to turning Nezuko back into a human. Uh -huh. You must head to Asakusa, Tokyo now! Rumor has it, a demon's lurking there! I've got another mission already? Yes, you do! Now go! Could you at least give me a minute? No time! Move it! Oh, man... So this is a Sakusa. Wow. The night is as bright as the day here. It's totally different from living in the mountains. When does everyone sleep? Nezuko looks like she's getting tired. Maybe I should let her rest. Incredible! And overwhelming! This is making me dizzy. Um, let's go over there, Nezuko. <sighs> I've never been to a place like this before. It's way too crowded. <sighs> that scent... Why is it here? And why now? I remember. It's the same scent that was left in my home. Muzan. Kibutsuchi! He's here, just up ahead. I won't let him get away. Not a chance! Good. I can't go this way. I have to find another way through. Quick! No good. I can't go this way. I have to find another way through. Quick! He's here. He's here. He's so close! Okay. Go 
Calm down. Calm down. This way. It's coming from over here. I'm still picking up the scent. I can do this. I won't let him get away. That vile scent. It's getting stronger. He's close. Hurry, 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 hurry! On keep boots, Uchi. Daddy, who's that? He's. What is this? Is he? He's living here, posing as a human. I'm sorry. Is there something I can do for you? Do you need help? You seem a bit flustered. Darling, what's the matter? <laughs> You're human. Girl and the woman, their scent is human. But how? Can't you tell? This guy is a demon. He eats people. Who is this boy? I really don't know. I'm just as confused as you are. I've never seen him before. He must have made a mistake. Thought that I was someone else. Oh, you think that's it? What's going on? Are you all right, sweetheart? No, stop! Stop it! Sweetheart! Listen, you need to worry about yourself, ma'am. It's all right. It'll all turn out fine. The woman's wound doesn't look fatal. This man hasn't killed anyone yet. Damn. Damn it all! I can't leave this man alone here! Muzan Kibutsuchi! No matter where you go! I promise you won't escape me! What's the matter with that boy, Tsukihiko? Tsukihiko? I'll follow you to the ends of hell! And my blade will be the last thing you see! I'll never forgive you! For what you've done! Those Hanafuda earrings. What the hell's going on over here? Another drunk. Step away from that man right now, kid. I can't. Bring restraints to hold him down. Quickly. Get away from him. Get up. Please don't do that. I'm the only one who can hold him back. I said get off. Let me go. I don't want this person to kill anybody. Just stay out of the way. Someone could get hurt. Scent of illusory blood. Visual dream. That smell. What is it? Huh? What's with the flowers? What the hell is this? I can't see anything. Is this some kind of spell? That could mean trouble. <laughs> What? You. I beg your pardon, but I noticed you called that man a person, even though he is now, in fact, a demon. And now, you're trying to save him. So if it's quite all right with you, I'd like to lend a hand. Why in the world would you... You sent... I know what you are. I know you do. Yes, I am a demon. But I'm also a doctor. I want to help. And I want to destroy Kibutsuji. Just who are you anyway? Let's talk more about this later. First, we need to treat these people. I'll take them to my clinic. Will you come with us? Clinic? But... Um, my sister's waiting for me to come get her, actually. I see. I'll go ahead and take these two in for treatment, then. Yushiro. Please show him the way when he is ready. Me? 
But I don't want to be separated from you. You, Shiro? Do as I say. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well then, I shall see you again soon. Nezuko. Nezuko! Huh? I'm so sorry, Nezuko. I left you behind. Huh? Oh. Yushiro's safe. He'll guide us from here. The place we're going is hidden by a concealment spell. If you weren't with me, you'd never find it. Under concealment? Oh yeah, before we go. Did you know that girl is a demon? And not much to look at, either. What was that? Did he just... Doesn't that mean ugly? But who? Nezuko? You gotta be out of your mind! Who would look at Nezuko and think she's ugly? She was the most beautiful girl in our hometown, you know that? Let's go. I know, we're already coming! But take back what you said about her! There's an entire house hidden back here? Hurry up. You better make sure you don't offend the lady in any way. Got it? Come in. I've returned, my lady. I'm sorry that I left everything for you to take care of. So how's she doing? She'll make a full recovery. But her husband had to be locked up. He's restrained in the basement. Isn't it difficult treating humans? With all that blood, I mean. Is that what you think? She chokes back her own drool when she treats a human? Cause demons can't control themselves? Don't do that. Treating humans is not all that difficult, actually. At least, for me. But it is different for other demons. I have modified my body's physiology quite considerably. And I've removed Kibutsuji's curse. What curse? And what kind of changes? Why don't we go somewhere we can sit down and talk? I need to hear your side of the story as well. I see. Now I understand what happened. In that case, I think I can certainly be of help to you. But first, I would like to continue where I left off, and tell you a bit more about ourselves. As I said earlier, we are demons. However, I made several adjustments to our bodies so we could continue to live without harming any human beings. As a result, we can survive on just a small amount of human blood. Wait, blood? So you're saying... I understand if you find it distasteful, but I buy it from those in poverty. I tell them I'll use it for transfusions. But of course, I never take enough blood to impair anyone. No wonder. That would explain why neither one of them has the same scent as a normal demon. And Yushiro needs even less blood than I do, since I'm the one who turned him into a demon. You turned him? How? How did I do it? Well, as far as anyone knows, Kibutsuji is the only one who can create demons. And that is more or less accurate. I tried for over 200 years, and still Yushiro was my only successful transformation. What? I'm sorry, I should clarify. Creating more demons is not one of my goals. I only attempt to do so when necessary on the terminally ill or injured, and only when they won't otherwise survive. And even in those cases, 
I always ask in advance if they would truly prefer to live on as a demon. <laughs> her scent is pure. No signs of deception. I think I can trust her. Miss Tamayo, once someone becomes a demon, is there a way to turn them back again? A way to make a demon human again? There is. <sighs> Please, tell me how! There's always some form of medicine or aid, no matter the wound or ailment. That said, I don't yet know how to turn a demon back into a human. But I promise we will find a way. We are quite dedicated to establishing such a treatment. The first step involves studying the blood of a number of different demons. Which means I have two favors to ask you. First, I'd like permission to study your sister's blood. Second, we need more samples. I'd like you to retrieve them from demons that have Kibutsuji's blood running strong through their veins. Nezuko's condition is extremely rare, perhaps entirely unique. I understand she was asleep for two years. I believe her body changed during that time. In most cases, that long without food, neither human flesh nor the blood of an animal, would undoubtedly cause any demon to grow violent. However, against all odds, Nezuko is showing none of those signs. That miracle could be the key to finding a solution. Nezuko... But my second request is not a simple one. When I say demons with Kibutsuji's blood, I mean demons with powers like those of Kibutsuji himself. Extracting blood from that kind of demon won't be easy. So, what do you think? Are these requests acceptable? If not pleasant. If it's really the only way, then I'll do it. Besides, if you study all that blood, and you can create this medicine, then it won't just be Nezuko, will it? A whole lot of other people will be saved too. Yes, they will. <sighs> oh no. Get down! <laughs> Turns out you were right, Yahava. This building just materialized out of nowhere. The handiwork of someone using a blood demon art that can hide objects. But that won't erase their footprints. You can't fool my eyes. Hmm. We're supposed to be tracking down a demon slayer. But is he keeping company with demons? I have to say, Susamaru, your way of doing things is just so immature. Utterly careless. Oh, stop whining. Who cares about dust? My Tamari just uncovered their hiding place. Did Kibutsuji send those two? Their scents are different than any other demons I've ever met. They're stronger. Or... thicker, maybe. It feels heavy inside my lungs. Oh, we're looking for a demon slayer who wears Hanafuda earrings. That would be you, right? They're targeting me? Who's having fun? I know I sure am! You're about to be killed by one of the Twelve Kizuki. Doesn't that make you feel special? Twelve Kizuki? They're directly under Kibutsuji. <laughs> now then, let the games continue! Until morning comes, and you're all dead! Miss Tamayo, are these the kind of demons you need? I'd presume so. Got it. All right, then their blood will be yours! Hey, you stupid demon slayer! Look what's on your forehead! Forehead? Oh, there's a talisman! How did that get there? I will lend you my vision through that talisman! With my vision, you'll be able to see the arrow's movement! So hurry up and cut their heads off! Oh, I had no idea he could do this. Thank you! Let's finish this. Follow my lead, Yahaba. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Watch your back! Don't let your guard down! If they really are part of the 12 Kizuki, don't underestimate them! They're more powerful than any other demon you've faced before! Right! Keep my guard up and watch my back! Just be careful. And breathe. Okay, here I go! Hey, Susamaru. Can't you use your head a bit more? My kimono is covered with dust. Stop! Let's finish this. Follow my lead, Yahaba. Not bad for an amateur. <laughs> now we're talking! Oh? Can you believe our luck? We've found Tamiyo the fugitive. She'll make quite a souvenir. Hey, Yahaba. You think four heads will be enough for us to take home? Too many. We only need two. Demon Slayer and the fugitive. We have no use for the others. Huh. <sighs> Well, I'm still gonna have some fun before we take the Demon Slayer's head. Let's get that woman's head first. Now! Die! Nezuko... Can she handle this? If Nezuko keeps one of them busy, it will be easier to focus on the other one. But... No, this isn't the time to be worrying. We just have to do it! Nezuko... You go after one of them, and I'll defeat the other. You just have to keep them distracted until then. <laughs> You're going to fight me on your own? How foolish! Get out of my sight! My Tamari will rip a hole through your body! <laughs> Not bad! <laughs> You're a damn fast! <laughs> <laughs> You're a stubborn one. How fun! I'm gonna play with you until you break! Okay, time to get serious. You won't dodge this one! How dare you! Hurry and bite the dust! <laughs> I'll throw as hard as I can. You eyesore. No. How could this happen? Why am I having so much trouble fighting a little girl? What does this mean? This is nothing but Nezuko's own strength. She has been able to- Okay! Time to get serious!
<laughs> Why, you little... Lady Tamayo. She's actually managing to push her back. Yes. But both being demons, at this rate they'll be at a stalemate until dawn breaks. I must do something. I think it's about time for you to disappear, you filthy little demon slayer. And in the cruelest way imaginable. I have to calm down. I can't afford to get distracted. I just have to keep an eye out for opportunities to get closer until there's nowhere for him to run. Come on, I can do it! The more I look at you, the filthier you seem. I won't let you get near me. He's using those arrows to keep me away! I can't let it throw me off. I have to keep pushing forward! <laughs> I'll make you pay for this! Be gone! Would you stop kicking up dust everywhere? Do not irk me, you pathetic human. Even if I get covered in dirt, no matter how many times I fall down, it's okay, as long as I win in the end! Water wheel! I'll make you pay for this! I did it! Oh, you damn brat! I just needed to bring him your head. That's all it would have taken to finally win his approval! I'll never forgive you. I'll make sure you pay for what you've done to me! My face is filthy now! I swear I'll bring you down with me! Oh no! He's got me! I have to use every move I have to stop him! Or my body will be crushed! Fourth form! Striking time! Do something! Think fast! Don't get beaten! Not here! Water wheel! Waterfall basin! Water surface slash! Drop ripple thrust! Whirlpool! I 
I cracked my rib and broke my leg. It, it's no use. I'm so exhausted. I can't even hold my sword. I gotta go. I gotta get over there. There's one more demon left. Hang on. I'm coming. I'll be there soon. Please be safe. Just hang on! Is it over? Is she dead? She will be momentarily. This is Kibutsuji's curse. The cells he left in her body rip her apart from the inside. Tanjiro, this demon we fought is not one of the Twelve Kizuki. What? The Twelve Kizuki all have numbers engraved on their eyeballs, but she doesn't have one. Which means that the other demon likely doesn't either. They were too weak. Too weak? Really? But with any luck, this blood will still be instrumental for us in developing a cure. It's a bit strange. She's been acting like this ever since she woke up. I wonder if she's alright. She's just fine. If I were to guess, I'd say she thinks of you both as family. Thinks of us as family? But I thought the spell Nezuko was under only made her see humans as family. Yushiro and I are demons. Not to Nezuko. You two are as human as anyone to her. She wanted to protect you. You know, I didn't like the idea of that spell at first. But she still seems to have a will of her own, so... I'm so sorry! Nezuko, stop it! Get away from her! You're being very rude! Thank you. Thank you so much, Nezuko. Would you still desire to live? Even if it costs you your humanity? You will indeed succumb to your illness if you don't. But I must warn you. Losing your humanity, it is a painful experience. Yushiro and I will be leaving this region. It's far too risky to stay here now that Kibutsuji is so close. We need a new place to hide. And although I have been careful to keep my identity hidden, after treating so many humans, it is likely some of them have realized I am a demon. So, Tanjiro. Yes? In the interest of protecting Nezuko, would you like us to take her with us when we go? Huh? Obviously I can't promise her safety, but I believe she'll be in less danger with us than she would in battle. Maybe she's right. Wherever they end up, Nezuko would be safer with them. Miss Tamayo, thank you for your concern, but Nezuko's staying with me. Nothing will tear us apart. No, never again. Yes, I understand. Well, I wish you good fortune then. All right. We will be leaving as soon as we cover our tracks. You should get moving as well. You're right. And good luck. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Let's go, Nesco. Tanjiro. Uh? Your little sister. I guess she is a beauty.